Hi everyone, there was a request on uh, uh, implementation of uh, the new advertising SDK called AppBox. So um, here I am, obliging to that request. Um, AppBox is just another um, advertising company that is very similar to Ludbolt's Android and AirPush. Uh, they provide push notifications and they can also push out icons as well so it's a uh, uh, it's pretty new I just recently discovered it I haven't been with them for too long so still kind of checking them out but uh, that's another alternative for you so um, somebody asked me on the forums to film a tutorial on how to implement it so that's not a problem with me uh, here I am so let's just get to it um, here I have my Eclipse open and I've already imported a project uh, I believe you should all know how to do that uh, from my previous tutorials so I'm just gonna expand that and um, here I have the PDF uh, the instructional PDF open and we'll just follow all the instructions they're all very similar um, to all the other uh, instructions from all the other add SDKs it's, it's all very repetitive so should be I at least I'm familiar with the with the procedure by now. Um, anyways, let's just um, read on what it says here. Okay, so it says to add the SDK um, to our to our project. So let's go here. And this is it. Actually, I've extracted it's right here. Yeah, mobile SDK. It's a jar file. I guess I don't have extensions here, but um, it's no problem. We know how to work it. So we'll just take that. I guess it doesn't work like that. Okay, no problem. We'll open this up, minimize it like this. I just use the drag and drop way. That I'm sure there's a a more official way, but drag and drop is king. So just like that, we'll uh, drag and drop, and it's gonna say what you want to do. So we want to copy it. Click OK. Now. Uh, yeah, the instructions probably say that we have to add it to the build path, which we already know. And it's very simple to do right click on the on the jar file in the libs folder that we just uh, dragged over and go to build path and then click add to build path. You can confirm that it's there by going to right clicking on the project, going to properties, and uh, you will see it here. Actually, the guide says to make sure that there's a check mark by the uh, in under order and export tab uh, which you will find under the Java build path so we'll put it there I'm not really sure what the check mark does but uh, I'll click OK so now that it's here um, I don't remember what to do next let's go back to the document and uh, check mark ok perfect so modify the manifest XML blah 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 so we're just going to take all this code and open up the manifest and it has to go uh, inside the application tag uh, not very formatted okay so we'll do this sort of something like this you can do that by uh, pressing tab and eclipse just a little shortcut uh, makes it a little easier to see there. Okay. Shift tap to go back. So um, that's done. So go back to the document. Okay, now it says to add permissions. We're all familiar with the permissions, so let's just take all this that they have here. So everything looks pretty standard. Nothing too intrusive like air push. Um, and add those permissions to the manifest right here frankly it doesn't really matter where they go as long as they're outside the application tag okay so uh, there we go uh, now we need to initialize the SDK in our main activity which would be SB live wallpaper which will be under the package there it is, 
and they are create. So this is what you do. It's the line of code that initializes it. Um, that's correct. There we go. So obviously you replace your app ID with whatever numbers you get. You have to sign up for app bugs and they'll give you an app ID once you register um, an application and they'll give you an a API key once you register uh, with your account with app bugs. And they're all unique. I don't really remember what mine are, but I mean, let's just pretend they're, oops, they're supposed to be numbers. Some numbers. And uh, this is a string, so don't delete the quotation marks, but I'm sure it's a number as well. Anyways, okay, so we get some squiggly lines right here, and that's because um, cannot be resolved. That's because we did not import uh, the app box SDK. Um, so you can use Quick Fix, uh, which is just this little window right here, or is a there's a shortcut that does it all automatically for anything that's missing. Control Shift O. Ta da. Okay. Now what does it say here? Um, I don't know. Oh, okay. I guess this number is too long. There we go. Um, just got a little bit too key happy. Anyways, um, so now that it's initialized, what does it say to do next? Uh, is the initialize the SDK in your boot receiver. Okay, so we need a boot receiver. I don't have one actually. Ah. Uh, well, we'll make one. It's not a problem. Essentially, all the codes here, and we'll just copy that. And uh, to make a boot receiver, you just do new. Right-click on the package name, go to new, and we need to make another class because that's what uh, that's what it's going to be. It's going to be a class. Call it boot receiver. Uh, yeah, okay, make sure this is unchecked, public static void main, we don't want that method. Uh, click finish, and there's our boot receiver class, so now we just do this, uh, paste what we got, and as you can see there's a bunch of squiggly lines, so we just do control shift O, it imports everything automatically. Now, make sure these match. We're just gonna take whatever number that I got, whatever number that I made, came up with, and paste it here. Even though, I mean, it doesn't exist, but whatever. And um, oops, there we go. Okay. So that's good. Okay, so I just pressed Control Shift O again, so that it, uh, import the app app box API. Very useful uh, shortcut. Um, uh, that was a shortcut for uh, formatting. I don't remember what it was. F? Yeah, Control Shift F. Sick. Okay, so our boot receiver class is ready. So that will essentially initialize the SDK when the user restarts their phone, so that well the pushes keep happening after a reboot. Um, make sure you save that file and uh, save this as well. Um, if you want to test it out, this first argument that says false is test mode, so right now false. Uh, right now test mode is turned off and you can turn it on by changing it to true. Just don't forget to turn it back to false when you actually publish your app, otherwise you won't make any money. And same goes for the boot receiver, but you know, we don't want to change it, I'm just kind of showing you. So everything saved. Save the manifest. Um, everything looks good. Let's see if we're missing anything. Um, oh yeah, step five: add opt-in instructions to your app. The simplest way to do this is by adding the following line at the end of your main activities on create. Okay. So this will provide uh, the user with an opt-in. Uh, that will allow them to well, opt in or opt out, and it's set to add it to the on create at the end of the on create. So, uh, 
something like this. Or you set it the I set at the end. Okay, so like this. And just list your app name. In our case it's cards by wallpaper. And what else does it say? <coughs> Um okay. Well the rest is pretty much pretty straightforward. We've kind of run over all the steps. And just there's some other notes, but in the test mode that I mentioned already. And uh, I don't know what those other ones are. Uh, I guess not too important. As long as it works, right? So that's done and uh, yeah you're done so you can just test your app now by pressing right click and then run as Android application uh, my phone is not hooked up so um, I'll just um, yeah I'll, I'll call it I'll call this finished right here so if you guys have uh, any questions um, post in the forums you know comment I'll be happy to help you out and if you have any more requests for the tutorials just give me a shout. I'm Vass and I'm out. Laters.